action and as you said that variety yeah the that variety natasha jonas hits hard man uh, like hard let me mute this uh take your time out like the video subscribe and teach three controversy with fight view 360. uh back in the swing of things opening up the month of uh september with um this column smith card here in the states um i want you, i want you to see these punches like this this girl like she she's got some issues and i'm talking about like that power i'm not saying i was saying in a power way like she will give you some issues uh she fought a name girl by the name of um patricia bargo and they've been saying her name all night burgu bargo they've been saying it all night and i've been butchering and i apologize um welcome so first i want to say this i had questions about her fighting at 154 pounds here, let's turn it up and listen in. I guess they're about to read the cards. Tashers, surely it's just got to be made official. But she she can hang. That power is is is, and she's getting better. She's thirty eight years old, but that's that's not old in women's boxing, in my opinion. You know, that's like your, like you're 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 kind of in your prime. It's hard to explain, especially with um, or to articulate. But I don't consider that old in boxing. I think when you're like for women and men, I think it's like when you hit like that, you know, like 42 or so, it's like, okay, this is the end. Like, you know, if you can do shit now, but I think she can, you know, if she see, if she see Terry Harper again, I think she can beat her, bro. But we got to wait and see how Terry Harper looks. Let's turn it up. The judge's scorecard for the official decision. Judge Grace was about 99 to 91, while judges Melinda and Sindemark score at 100 to 90. Declaring your winner by unanimous decision, and the new unified WBC and WBO Women's Super Welterweight Champion, she... Natasha Jones. I was going to say, when she gets dialed up, Let me stop being a thirsty ass fuck boy though. But who can celebrate their Simicast, there's Molly. But if I ever was in Liverpool and I was single, she was single, I'm gonna shoot. Shoot a shoot, man. I'm heaving from half court. For so long, Miss GB. I'm taking the shot. WBC title to add to her WBO at Oh, I hate that song. Anyway, wait to hear um, the post-fight interview. So I'm going to be honest with you. I did cover her last fight, but I don't know what belt she just won. She had the WBO. She just won the WBC from Patricia Bargu. Bargu. She gave her her first defeat, 15-0 and with three KOs. The power was the deal. 28 years old, Swede. She fought Hannah Rankin, beat her. Terry Harper's facing Hannah Rankin in the 24th. What card is that? Is that on the undercard of uh, Joe Joyce? What card is that? Okay, that music. I'm waiting for the... Uh... Wait a minute. Terry Harper's not match room anymore, is she? Is it going to be a boxer card? Sky Sports? We're waiting for her uh, post-fight interview. She won a unanimous decision victory. Actually, no. If I'm um, on my card, eight rounds to two, you know, could be nine to one, but she definitely won. It was the pressure. She had a little bit of issues early, um, the first couple of rounds, and I was like, I was looking and I was thinking, like, man, I don't know if she's, you know, she can hang at 154, but she can. Remember, Clarissa Shields was at 154. Hannah Rankin full Clarissa Shields at 160. I like put it this way if Clarissa Shields ever went back to 154 I think she can hang you know so this is going to be no this is a uh, it's a match room card okay all right so basically the rumors were and Sky Sports confirmed it that basically it was supposed to be Natasha Jones versus Hannah Rankin which is a good fight but as I was looking at the rankings, not the rankings, but the, the box rank rankings of the women fighters at 154 pounds, and I'm looking, these are some big girls. And, and Natasha doesn't weigh in at the full 154. She doesn't weigh in at that. But I'm telling you, let's see how Terry Harper look against Hannah Rankin. 
I think she can beat uh, her in a rematch. Like, I think she can beat. Um, and from what I'm learning, Marie, um, the care, she's good. She would give her some problems. And I'll be honest, a lot of these other girls I haven't heard of, you know, Emma Cozen covered her. Mary Spencer, that's a good fight. I just watched her fight a few weeks ago. Let's listen to the uh, post-fight interview. Yeah. Double champion with Andy. Natasha Jonas, to go to Manchester and win a world title in the first place was a special night. Well, I wonder if you can sum this up to have a homecoming. Oh, no, that was back in um, June. In front of a Liverpool crowd. How does that feel? I honestly didn't think it could get any better than Manchester. Um, tonight just blew me away. You I'm go, so girl. I'm humbled by all the support, love, oh, pretty family, self. friends and support that come, comes to me fights every time. And, you know... I, I, I always try and carry Liverpool with the, with the best of my ability and do everyone, all the scouts, is proud because we stick together, we love each other and we support one another. I am sure that you have done that tonight. Patricia Bergholt was a world champion. Burgo. She was undefeated, but 99-91 once and 100 to 90 twice. I mean, it doesn't get much more dominant than that. Yeah, I, th I thought I'd lost a couple of rounds, if I'm honest, um, but I can never really judge you. Um, and you know, obviously, you can hear Joe in the corner giving me hell all the way through. No, 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 no. And I think, oh God, I'm doing it wrong. Um, I'm having more peanuts. Yeah, we, we came out with it. And, you know, Ben, I keep asking Ben, he keeps delivering. And all I've got to do is play my part. And up until now, I have. Not at your natural weight either, but I suppose now there's two belts there. You know, can we stop saying that? You're a super welterweight. Is this, was this the answer all along? Maybe, maybe, you know, there's two other belts to get. There's a, um, and, and then there's always the opportunity to become a two-weight, possibly even a three-weight, because it's, it's no secret I'll never make Super Feather again. Amazing that she was almost talking about retirement after the World Cup. Let's bring in Joe and Ben. Joe, to you first. Natasha Jonas's best performance as a professional. Um, it was very hard to beat the night in Manchester, but listen, full credit to Patricia Barkow. What a champion. She absolutely took some wallops tonight okay. and then go down. And uh, full credit to her. And I hope they have a safe journey home. But she was a great champion. But this tonight is all about Natasha Jonas. She was being knocked down, had speed bumps, come back and um, got Ben behind her now, Sky TV behind her, and Natasha's del delivering. No one can say tonight, Natasha Jonas didn't beat a credible world champion. She was a very good fighter tonight, and full credit to Natasha Jonas. She's like fine wine, she's getting better, or she's getting older. Quick one, Ben, because we're running out of time, but Natasha Jonas, your first world champion, and now she's your first unified world champion. It's some road. You know what? All the promoter politics and BS that she's had to put up with her whole career, she's achieving 20% now of what she should have achieved, and she's now a unified world champion with a WBC green and gold belt at a weight division that isn't even hers. That's how talented she is. I'm delighted. I can't believe it. It's unbelievable. Best. Back to the day job being mum, and then back joining us next week on a huge night for women's boxing. Yeah, baby Mila, we've got another one. We've done it again. We'll see you next week. Uh, okay. So she came into the fight with the WBO. Took, took Bar Burgos WBC, the green belt. Marie DeCare has got the IBF. After she lost her IBF and undisputed to Clarissa Shields, she got it back. Hannah Rankin, who's taken on Terry Harper um, on the 24th. What card is that, by the way? The Lee Wood, Marisha Lara card. Maxie Hughes, Kit Galahad returns. Hmm, good fight. So basically, these are the other two belts she's going after. Now, will politics get in the way of the Terry Harper fight? The rematch? You know, because, for example, I'm guessing the best way to go it is, you know, um, whoever's next is going to go after the care. I mean, between Terry, Hannah Rankin, Terry Harper winner, is likely going to go after the care. And I'm sure Natasha Jones is probably going to go after her. And then you can see maybe... 
Terry Harper, who I think, you know, can beat Hannah Rankin. I'm on the fence. I'm not making a prediction yet, but I'm guessing that's going to be the route to have Terry Harper and Natasha Jonas too for Undisputed. Does that make sense? I think that's like the path they can go. But what's going to be the political situation broadcaster? I don't, I'm just, I'm just happy for the woman. All right. You know, and I've been watching her. I've been watching her career. I've covered multiple fights. I don't remember how many fights I've did videos on uh, Natasha Jonas. But that power is, is for real. And even though I'm not the biggest fan of Joe Gallagher, you know, he has good, you know, years and bad years. Um, but the improvement is there. Like that, that shit and, and the body work. You know, and she really, you know, you know, you can look at certain certain fighters and be like, yo, they hit hard, especially with females, because they seem between her and uh, Jessica McCoskill, like they really like sit down on their punches. It's hard to explain. But nice, solid fight. Um, I had it eight rounds to two, nine rounds to one. You know, she started a little slow. But then after that, I don't want to call it an ass beating, but she did. She did beat Patricia up. You know, like it, it, can't, it looked like a couple of times she almost could have stopped her. But anyway, I'm going to be here next week uh, covering the shit out of Clarissa Shields and uh, Savannah Marshall and also Alicia Baumgartner and uh, Michaela Mayer. And they got a gloves are off coming up next week. It's going to be a fire ass week in women's boxing. We're going to be covering it all. I'm, I'm even going to be streaming during the uh, uh, two main events um, because it, it's a big it's a big fight, a big card. Uh, my podcast, the Fight View 360 Boxing Podcast um, is available on all of your listening platforms, Spotify, Google um amazon audible alexa say that because she'll listen to me annoyed. alexa um stitcher and the wheels are finally churning so i'm going to be pumping out more content on there and some interviews coming up thanks for watching please take your time out like the video and subscribe and follow me on twitter at t street controversy